uh, in this video we'll be just running through uh, the steps to enable OpenSSH server on a Linux guest VM within Oracle VirtualBox and then using that we are then going to use uh, Kitty or Putty to actually connect directly to that VM. So the first step is to actually uh, install OpenSSH uh, SSH server if it's not already installed. So, so it'll be sudo and then yum or dnf or apt or um, apt-get maybe and then install which is common for all and then it'll be open ssh hyphen server sudo password okay and the next one you may need to look up depending on your um, particular um, Linux distro but most are either uh, sys systemctl and then start okay if there's no output then that looks good there also for some um, older uh, distros there is a service sshd start I don't think this will work on this but yeah it does the same thing it's just the shortcut for it Okay, so we can check the status of this. So this again, there's two ways of doing this. System CTL status SSHD. You can see it's active running. Awesome, that's great. You can see it's listening on port 22. There's also the service SSHD status. So it's exactly the same. So that should work for most distros, those two commands, one or the other. Okay, so also, next thing to do, if I just clear the screen here, will be to actually enable it on boot up because you'll need that every time you boot your system. Uh, CTL, and then we do enable SSHD. That's enabled. And some older distros, again, you need to do something different. Um, I think it's uh, SSHD on, okay, like that check config sshd on awesome next thing if you've got the firewall enabled you may need to uh, allow that through so firewall cmd hyphen hyphen zone equals public hyphen hyphen permanent permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equals SSH. Okay, let's pop my oops. Okay, already enabled. Awesome. So quick check is to just do a uh, let's just do my name's name at one seven two let's just do my to the local host. Yep, so we've got an SSH prompt. That's good. Awesome. So that SSH works locally. So the next trick is to get that working um, outside the VM itself. So the next thing would be to go into the machine and, and settings. So based on this, you'll be there'll be two different ways of doing this. So in the network, if you've got the NAT enabled, you have to do some port forwarding to get it through the NAT. If you've got it bridged, then you just need the IP address of the local VM. So that will be just IP address, and then just this IP, which will be, this should be, oh, there's the virtual bridge. This is one I would imagine. Yep, 10.0.2.15 here. Okay, cool. So next thing, so as I've got uh, the, the natted met preference, so I will set this up. So the preferences, network, I've uh, got nat, sorry. Machine, I've just made it pause it here. Network, port forwarding, here we go. So sorry, it's just here, it's machine settings, network, advanced, and then port forwarding. Let me just click add. Let's give it a name or SSH, it's TCP, host IP. So that is the, your host IP. Um, 
let's make it nice and easy. Set it as a different port. It can be uh, 22 because uh, that may not be, it will probably not listen in on your machine anyway. So we just try that anyway. Let's try that. Uh, but you may want to keep that as a unique one for each VM so you can just do. Uh, 2221, 2223, 2234, exactly for all your different VMs. So let's pop the local IP here. So it's 10.02.15, and then port will be 22. That's the one we saw that was listening on earlier. Click OK, click OK again, and that should be port forwarding now. So the next thing is to use an application for SSH like um, Putty or in this case, I'll use Kitty, which is a, a modification of Putty. So we just pop the same details we put in here. One, and it was port 22 is listened on. Click open. We got a message that you know it's a new, new host. Login name. Okay. Okay. So that is now enabled the SSH, and you've got all the same um, commands you'd have. For, via the terminal but directly by SSH. Now why would you want this? Well, The, the main fit, uh, reason you may want that is uh, a light terminal where you don't have to use the GUI every time. So perhaps you want to, sh what I'll do is I'll shut down the uh, VM and what we can do is use a thing called the headless mode or within a virtual box. So if we do uh, headless mode and essentially this will run but without any kind of um, GUI so you can see there's a preview there just you can see it booting up and stuff but you're saving all your video memory because you're not actually um, booting it up booting it up so just wait for it to completely boot up and then I'll just attempt the SSH again so it looks like it's nearly there I can see the uh, spinning donut. I'll just try to restart the session, it may have come up already, it may not have. But still considering it. There we go. And we're logged in. So then we don't actually need the the whole red hat um, the whole system booted up and connected and stuff. We don't need any of that. We can directly run all the same commands from here. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it's been useful, will be useful to you. Um, please check out my other videos. I've, I'm going to have lots of uh, Linux based and Red Hat based uh, videos coming up. So, yeah, thank you for, for watching again and uh, see you next time.